Welcome, my name is John Nielsen. We're here in London, Canada with the uh, DA62 MPP. It's the multi-purpose platform. We're going to be taking this into North America for its uh, maiden demo tour for the United States and mainly showing it to special operators, airborne law enforcement community, and some survey companies, firefighting uh, companies, and uh, I was just taking it around so that they can see and uh, this this remarkable modern aircraft for the first time. So this, this aircraft is built off the DA-62, which is a twin engine a diesel uh, engine that burns Jet A. It's uh, extremely modern. It's about the most modern general aviation aircraft I've ever seen in my 40 years of flying. So it's just the latest cutting edge technology and they've taken that civilian model and they made a basically a cop version of that or special missions version where the aircraft is built uh, a lot stronger and, and structurally to carry sensors like this on the nose uh, also on the belly it can carry maritime type radars or surveillance radars or lidar scanners for the uh, survey community so it's it's built to be a special missions bird from the factory well, uh, helicopters uh, are designed to do the vertical component of lift, the take off and land without the use of an airport, but most law enforcement agencies are based at airports and they use their helicopter, what I call the platform, to carry a sensor uh, to put it on calls as quickly as possible when they're going down. So with today's technologies, the sensors are, are, are much more stable and have a long uh, look range to them. So you can park a platform over a city and have that camera on a call in real time, and that's really what makes the tactical difference in the outcome of an event, be able to mitigate all the risk. And this platform can just do it at a fraction of the cost, uh, hourly cost as a helicopter can. You know, helicopters are very complex machines because they can't take off and land vertically. Um, and the, the, the maintenance that goes along, the engineering to do that, the, the time to replace components, um, with the airframe, uh, that's, that's where the cost comes in really. It's, it's more maintenance intensive. There's a lot more critical components that need to be either overhauled or replaced at a certain time and that, that drives the direct operating cost per hour of a helicopter, which a turbine power helicopter typically anywhere from 500 to well over 1,000 depending on the make and model per hour. Uh, and then burning Jet A and a turbine engine, you're limited on uh, weight and endurance. So for most police helicopters, they, get, they tend to get heavy pretty quick because we hang equipment off them. Uh, endurance is usually about a little over two hours. This thing can park over a city for 10 hours at about eight gallons per hour of fuel burn. Uh, so it's extremely fuel efficient. Uh, it has an awesome autopilot. It flies slow very well, which is how cops fly. They fly some circles all day low and slow uh, and the, this plane does that uh, very well but it also can get up and move if it has to it's, it's pretty fast so so hi my name is Steve Pierce president of rapid imaging solutions Air Bears systems integration partner on our our project here for the uh, the DA 62 MPP demo tour this is the diamond aircraft DA 62 MPP multi-purpose platform and so on the nose of the aircraft is a Traca Systems TC300. So 12 inch gimbal, uh, high definition EOIR camera system. So controlled from the back seat, we've got two 17 inch displays, high definition displays from Viewpoint Systems. Um, the camera system video can be displayed on either display. We also have the capability to put a mapping system or an augmented reality system in there that can stream that same video and can provide data overlays such as roads, streets, uh, parcel data, any type of uh, shape file or points of interest that we want to display on there. And so both of those are accessible from the rear seat from the operator station. In the rear of the aircraft we have, um, we have space for a variety of equipment. Um, it comes standard with a modified base plate where we can put additional types of uh, provisions for equipment racks or uh, we can put just a tray you know, with larger equipment that can be mounted there. The uh, Diamond aircraft provides the aircraft, the, uh, this area with a, a disconnect panel that's already pre-drilled for you know, the circuit breakers and you know, equipment disconnects. The, the rest of the aircraft is from a communications perspective, it's pre-provisioned for up to 14 antenna systems. So there's uh, hard points, you know, all over the aircraft, on the wings, the tail, you know, to be able to put a variety of, of different types of antennas. 
Um, it's, it's an integrator's dream. And so all I have to do is install the equipment, terminate the connections, and, and put the puzzle pieces together and make them work. Um, on the belly of the aircraft, they have uh, a variety of hard points for larger payloads. You can do radar systems, um, different types of pods, um, radomes for those radar systems. Um, uh, most of them have been, uh, they're, they're already certified. They've got the YASA STCs uh, to cover the different payloads that are put down there. Uh, we're also working with some other companies um, here in North America uh, for different types of, uh, of radar systems that don't require radomes. Um, so easily mounted to the, the belly of the aircraft. The aircraft has uh, also capabilities for both uh, line of sight and beyond line of sight. Uh, data link systems. Um, several of the uh, the antenna hardpoints are, are perfect for the, the line of sight you know, antennas that are more commonly used. There's also a pre-provisioned location on the dorsal section of this aircraft. Um, a SATCOM antenna can be now. You've got the capabilities for you know video intelligence, signals intelligence, electronics intelligence. Um, pretty much the gamut of today's ISR capabilities, both law enforcement, maritime patrol, um, you know, a variety of applications, even just you know, aerial survey uh, for LIDAR systems, photogrammetric, all of those have already been, they, they've taken those into account and they've, they've done as much as they can to provision the aircraft you know, for those types of systems. So additionally, Companies such as mine, Rapid Imaging Solutions, we can provide additional capabilities and modifications to the airframe so that can be certified either EASA Transport Canada or through the FAA or whatever civil aviation authority you know, that this, the, the end user has to, uh, to register the aircraft with. We can provide you know, custom modifications that the aircraft or the customer requires for, you know, for their particular mission.